tell me about your angers and your struggles. My name is Niles Gillius Dupree, but you may call me Niles Gillius Dupree and nothing else. And then your blood shall soak into my robes, my sacrificial robes, and that energy will flow through the galaxy straight up to that cactus coming down to destroy all of us. I have more of a mathematical question. Uh, how does your cult sustain itself financially? I don't want to get into an unstable situation. Oh, I'd be happy to answer that question for you. I feel like at the party place I can find people. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want you around. You're bumming my party anyway. What's good, y'all? It's my favorite day of the week. It's Sunday. The holy ah. day. That's right. Y'all know what that means. No, it's We're board going to church. Oh, okay. It's, it's board day at. Where are we today, like Flint? To we are at the mansion of Lucia Ethel Erkenshire II. Oh, that's interesting. Her I'm sorry, what's her name? La Lorna Clifford Edison uh, of Oedipus. That's right. Lorna Clifferson Oedipus <laughs> Oedipus. Out of and respect, we should all do it together, right? Yeah. yeah. Lorna Decimus Festus We are gonna play cult following. Oh no, we're joining Scientology. Well, guess what? We get to join your Scientology what? because we're starting off with you, you two as the hey! cults first. Yeah. You two, like Bono. Yeah, he's in that hey. band. Before we started, we rolled dice to see who would most likely have a cult and. Do you want a weapon? And oh, yeah. I brought you guys some cloaks from my house. This is from my wardrobe. Please what? return them. Thank you. <laughs> now, but keep in mind, you're making it <laughs> wrong hood, but okay. I found my own! Because I'm looking to belong to something because I ain't got no friends and my family hate me. I just, what? I just want a hug. Oh, I think I've had my cult ready for a long time. I've been waiting for this day. How about you? I am also very ready. Mm, okay. Ooh. Sounds prophetic. Yes. Rival so. cult. Okay. Are we rivals? But supportive. Yeah, you're rivals. We're rivals, but yes. supportive. Yeah. We are competing, but really, <laughs> all of us will die. So we're the cuddly creature cult, and uh, you know, we've, we've got dogs and cats living together. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. And we don't need to justify ourselves, and we have a message from the future. So pretty much our cult is based around cats and dogs, who uh, will eventually become our lords and masters. Hello, my name is Tyler. And today I speak to you on behalf of Children of Tyler. You see, in the beginning, there was nothing. Save for Tyler, of course. Until one day, Tyler made a spill spill on the carpet and, well, we don't want to get into it. From here on out, we refer to it as the incident. And we're not going to talk about the incident because we apologize. But essentially, that was original sin. And so the children of Tyler, uh, you know, grew into what we call humans. Uh, we all have our fears, and that is the stuff of children's nightmares. So we all collect dream journals from children, uh, see what is most spooky to those that are most pure. Uh, and then uh, eventually one day, I promise you, if we are all good, uh, titans will devour everyone. And that does include people you dislike. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, I'd really love to have you join uh, Children of Tyler. <laughs> yeah. We are looking to join Colts and we have some questions for you yeah. today. Okay. Um, you, Mr. Cuddly Creature Man, what is your customary cult greeting? Our customary cult greeting, uh, well, we come up to you and we thrust both a dog and a cat into your arms. <coughs> and if they react well, you are allowed to join us. So you're not even saying hi, you're judging me. First of all, Tyler, thank you for that question. That was a wonderful question. Um, Tyler be with you and with you also Tyler. So when you greet people, you say Tyler. Oh, uh, Tyler be with you. And then you, it's a call and response. Oh. Uh, you'd be like, I'd be sitting there and you would be like, Tyler, be with you. Oh, and be with you also, Tyler. Oh, this feels like brotherhood. Like, <laughs> like, I feel, Sense like, of I belonging. Feel the connection. I 
have more of a checkered past. Mm, um, like my hood. Yes, yeah, your checkered hood. And uh, I would like to actually know, when does your cult permit murder? As you know, dogs and cats do eventually get old and they become, you know, they get, no. yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, they there's, a, there's a lot of pain involved with the cancers, so they, they are allowed to be put down. Same thing with humans. Okay. So more like a like assisted murder. Fuck you. Like if there was a lot of youth in Asia. Mmm. It's a bit of a loaded question, Tyler. Because you see, when we die, we we, we don't really uh, uh, decompose like other uh, beliefs have taught you. Um, we all return to the great Tyler. Remember when I said in the beginning there was nothing but you know there was Tyler. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go chill with him. Uh, we just keep adding more people, and now there's now there was nothingness. There's Tyler, and now there's all of us. So if anything, you are shepherding someone else straight to Tyler. The Tyler. So Tyler it's okay Hoover. because you send people back to Tyler. Absolutely. Oh, okay. You shepherd them to the so, great Tyler. So I feel empty inside. I think that's an important thing to be fulfilled by whatever it is. Are you just sad, or is that your question? And we at the Cult of Cuddly Creatures would like to invite you as. Everyone feels a little empty inside without a cute furry creature around. And here at our cult, we have cute furry creatures everywhere, and everyone is happy. See, uh, my friend, I'm sorry, remind me of your name real quick. As uh, Tyler Jenkins. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, when the great titans come to devour everybody, um, that's gonna just be a sweet, sweet moment for all the, uh, you know, Tyler folk. So uh, until that moment comes, we all feel empty. I can't speak for you, but I'm, I'm waiting for that moment. God, this is hard. Hate animals. It's Sunday. You scare the fuck out of me. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, I gotta be real. Your cult is really scary, but mm. I don't. I'm not a big animal person. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Tyler. Thank you very much. Good Tyler with you. Okay. I do like the idea of being able to murder willy nilly, mm. all free. I hate that guy. With that said, anyone can kill anyone. Someone could be jealous of me as Tyler and then want to kill me. So. I think having a little puppy in my arms at all times is so adorable. See? How are you not happy? See? How are you not happy? <laughs> uh, and also, I want to help kill puppies when they're old. This is crazy because I'm real into the Tyler thing because that's my name. Mm -hmm. You know, meeting other Tylers. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So I'm really relating to that, but I sure do love animals. But mine is the stuff of children's nightmares, the little baby, baby uh, screams, baby screams. I oh. think I think as much as I would like to be surrounded by other Tylers, um, I do also enjoy some aspect of individuality, so I think I'm gonna go with the animal cult. Hmm. Yay! Hello, welcome to an occult fair. Much like a job fair, you're here to join the job or us a fair. Hi. Lydia, I come from the land of Mira. Some people think it's an active volcano, but really it's just a party island. There's hundreds of us in there, and we're all having the time of our lives. I know you guys have probably heard of people that say that like there's no way that they could actually have this much fun, but they're lying to you. This is real. We have a lot of mysterious benefactors. They just keep coming by and giving us all this dough! Welcome! Hello. What do we got here? Alright, yeah, not a fine selection today, but you'll do. Okay. Already very uncomfortable. My name is Jebediah Frank. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, it has been prophesized. And those times are nigh. They are here nigh. Am I using nigh correctly? Mm. The time where a cactus with a large Twitter following comes from above, from the clouds, and they judge us. And there is only one way to jump in its pot, to tour the galaxies with this cactus and find freedom. And that is for you to live every day like it's your last. 
Because it is. I will have to kill you once you join in, and then your blood shall soak into my robes, my sacrificial robes, and that energy will flow through the galaxy straight up to that cactus coming down to destroy all of us. And you will find your new home in that pot. Now I have to ask you one question. Do you want some pot? Okay, well, um, you know, I'm a young man. Um, not really looking to like settle down necessarily that soon. Um, but I do want to be a father one day. Um, so what are your cult's rules on parenting? Oh, I'd be happy to answer that question for you. Mm -hmm. um, we have plenty of party babies. Um, during our parties, the babies, once they reach uh, infancy, usually, well, past infancy, about five months, uh, we have them start doing tasks such as holding the party trays with the jello shots. Um, once they get to be about 10 years old, then they can run the drink stands. Um, there, there's a lot of things that your children can do, and, and I mean, we are able to provide jobs for your children so that they grow up as hardworking members of a community. Mm, sounds laborious. And they know how to party. <laughs> and come with me and you will find that I will nurture you right to the very end. You were close. <laughs> you were so close. My dad left. Mm. My mom hated me. She said I was an accident. Yes. Mm. And thinking about that, and thinking about like accidents, I'm very curious. Um, Tell me about your angers and your struggles. <laughs> what is your cult's plan B? If you're talking about Plan B in particular, the birth control medication, we have lots of um, we have lots of trays that circulate around where you can just grab one. Actually, the toddlers carry them around, which is great because they're totally supportive of it. What's your Plan B? Uh, keep them. <laughs> <laughs> and Plan A is to take my sacrificial dagger and stab at you until you are free of that pain. But sometimes in my old age, my bones are frail and my muscles are weak. I don't always kill you with a knife. So I have a much easier plan B where I take a gun, aim it at one of your major arteries and shoot, and I watch you bleed out. And I snicker and I chuckle and I laugh as you soon find those that have harmed you. It sounds like your voice, it sounds like your hands would be really slimy. Oh, just like sweat cold? Just like based off of your voice. Care to take them, no. my child. Because when you grabbed his hand, I was like, oh, don't do it, it's greasy. Uh, why do people wrongly assume that your cult is dangerous? I can, I can give you a really simple, simple answer for that. It's because we're so loud and people are wondering what could possibly be going off in a volcano. All of those neon lights and noises and then people constantly trailing in and never leaving. They just assumed that something terrible was happening in there, but people just love it so much and they just never leave us. Why do those wrongly assume we are dangerous? Oh, they don't. We're very dangerous. They are not wrong. Very dangerous. I think I'm playing this game we're, right. It, yeah. We're gonna deliberate real quick. Okay. Um, so, uh, listen, um, both inside and out of the game, I really wanted to give you a chance. Not entirely <laughs> sure you understand what I'm trying to say. I feel like the Industrial Revolution got it right. You need to put kids to work. They have the smaller hands so they get the things out of the gears. Probably other kids that just fell in or gunking it up. Um, but... <laughs> Oh you said gunking it up. Gunking it up. But the problem is that like, I don't know man, baby labor. I can't get on board with baby labor. Like, that sounds like a real fun party, I'm not gonna lie, but I can't do, I, I can't do the baby labor. I will have to let this man, honestly just probably just a man with a murder dungeon, not a cult at all. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you what is almost certainly your one card. <laughs> so good job. Uh, whack. Kill him. Thank you, my I child. Mean, I, I'll kill myself over a baby having a bad time. He's a cult of one. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm liking the sounds of the, the, of the party area, and you know, I can be, a, I can help babysitting from time to time because there's clearly a bunch of kids that are super unattended there. It's like five years after a season wrap of Teen Mom. There, oh. <laughs> nailed it. I'm gonna have to give my uh, my card to the party train. Just, I, I, 
You know, I'm not even that big into partying, but I just, <laughs> I'd rather not be stabbed or shot. Look, sad boy, we could get a poppin'. Party what? city, yeah, right. yeet. You'll still I... be sad inside your soul. I've learned, I've learned that death is just a permanent solution to a temporary problem, and I feel like at the party place, I can find people. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want you around. You're bumming my party anyway. What the f rub me, feed me. <laughs> All right, whatever. Come on, just I'm hungry. No, don't be a cat. I'm hungry. Don't be a cat. Why? I'm you hungry. Want to be a cat on me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Every time. How are you still no. in this phase? I must thank you for joining us as we inv invite you into the arms of the Almighty through our belief system. I must introduce myself. My name is Niles Gillius Dupree, but you may call me Niles Gillius Dupree and nothing else. What I would like to talk to you about today is the idea that all of your issues and all of your problems, <laughs> they will simply all blow over. The world was functioning before you got here, and goodness knows it will function afterwards. <laughs> Excuse me, I've grown weary. TV programs cancelled too soon. We all love our Firefly, our Arrested Development. But why do they end before we all wish for them to? Can't you see the greater works at play here? I can. Several symbols of oppression. Yes, many statues that, not so coincidentally, look Exactly like my mother. <coughs> Thank you. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Harry. Uh, this is my first time starting a cult, but I found I found some things that I really enjoyed doing, and I you guys look like you might be down with this shit too. Um, first thing is dragons. What? Yeah. Yeah. Also, being polite but not really meaning it. Everybody in the community does that. Like we're all kind of used to it. It's chill. Like. We're kind of like, even if you don't like somebody, you're kind of nice to him, but like he knows that you don't f with him and like, you know, it's just whatever. We're just a bunch of assholes. We have an afterlife reward program. Okay. It's almost like a, like a little commissary or something. Okay. Yeah. To like, like gather all my points and then like purchase, I don't know, like At, yeah. erasers or stuffed animals. You have 2000 points. You have, you have like 1,500 points. Then like you, like you can just spend those points on different things. Is 2000 points a lot of points? Yeah. Then we're living in a simulation. No, nah, this is real. Uh, dragon's here and uh, everything's fine over there. Yes, I'm I forgot to tell you the name of my cult. What is it? Hey, what are you worried about? <laughs> come, come on, come on down. It's a cult. Did I name my cult? No. Uh, it's called Dragons. I'm a little <laughs> curious. Uh. How do you keep people from leaving your cult? There's not anything I or anyone can make you do. However, we do have our symbols of oppression that do look an awful lot like my mother. They will make you feel guilty for leaving. They'll say it's fine if you want to go, but you could call every once in a while and goodness, it's lonely here. And you say, well, I could, well, no, don't, don't do that. I could stay a couple more hours. And they're like, goodness knows how much longer I'm going to be around. And you're like, no, don't do that. You've got time. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, this is my first cult and we don't really, I don't really have any actual members. I've just hired all the people like the, the dragon. Sorry. How on the earth dare you? I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't what you're worried about. It's just a cult. Uh, Come on down. But if somebody really doesn't want to chill, like I say, just hop on a dragon, take you back home, and then, you know, just make sure you send the dragon back. What are your cult's three core rules? Yes. Well, rule number one is that all series deserve six seasons and a movie. Anything less is simply unheard of. Don't talk back to mama lest mama talk back to you with her hand. Rule number three is uh, don't stress about it. And if you stress about it, we're all gonna know and be able to tell and see, and then bad stuff's gonna happen. One, don't forget to feed the dragons. Two, no snitching because like, mm, I don't f with snitches, dude, mm -hmm. none of us do. And uh, three, don't talk about Dragon Club. Didn't you just talk about Dragon Club? This is between us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
And I have more of a mathematical question. Uh, how does your cult sustain itself financially? I don't want to get into an unstable situation. Oh, f I didn't think about that. Much like my very privileged life, as much as I hate those statues of mother, they are made of gold, so I can walk to them with tail between my legs, head hung low, and say, Mummy statue dearest, I've hit some hard times. Can you bail me out of this boo-boo? And then I chop a little nugget off that statue, and then she says, you could call every once in a while. Also, I am very low on funds. Give me money. I think I'm just gonna start making counterfeit bills. So like, we just got dough for days, dude. I can make it happen. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't have the money printer yet, but I can make it happen. I do like your attitude of, don't worry about it. Shaka, bruh. But if I do worry about it, you guys are gonna be able to tell and I worry a lot. Mm -hmm. Plus, not every TV show needs to go six seasons and a movie. I will say this though, bitch got a dragon, I'm yeah. going there. Yeah. <laughs> but the dragons, I mean, honestly, sounds like mostly bullshit. Thank you. Honestly, she could be talking about drag queens. Or three Did stink I just lizards. go into a drag queen cult? But Amazing. I can say, she is small, and I could work my way up to the top of the dragon tiers. I will go with the dragons. Okay. Y'all wanna see something weird? <laughs> I, I don't think that your financial thing of printing money is going to do so well, and I really like not worrying about stuff, so I'm gonna go with... Hey, don't even worry about it. Yeah, see? <laughs> We're see? Stuff. Hey, yeah, it's cult stuff. Yeah, it's come on down. stuff. Alright guys, uh, that's been the game, uh, cult following today, uh, you, you can check it out, it, it was fun, it does not come with rope, and of course, uh, thank you to, uh, Baroness Von Who, again for this lovely Oh, let's all together. Baroness Von Who, 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 Dupree. Bye guys! <laughs> Ooh, make sure you guys let us know in the comments which cult are you gonna join. But hey, if you missed our board AF from last week, click on the box from the left. We played 5 Second Truth or Dare. Or click on the box to the right for something special just for you.